Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a plan with me. Um, I've got some ideas. Um, we're going to go very blue today. So this spread um, is kind of inspired by this new washi that I have from a shop called Star Seeds of Earth. And it is one of my favorite shops. So let's just get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I've pulled out some elements that I really want to use and all that good stuff. I'm going to be using my blackout book from Archer and Olive. I am participating in One Book July right now. Um, this is just a book that I have that I purchased for, I don't even know how much. It was, it was an old library book, but I just mainly use it to... Um, decorate with so let's just get right to it we finally have internet y'all i am so excited um we've been without internet for about two weeks now and it has sucked so that's why i've been very quiet and why the last video that i uploaded which was the simply gilded sub box that's why it was so um late and all that good stuff so i am back happy to be back so yes all right i think i'm gonna do something a little like that i'm gonna throw away the scraps here all right so i'm gonna use my favorite planner glue pen which is from Prima. You can get these at any craft store, really. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you can get them online. They are literally the best glue pens I've ever used. And I have gone through several of them already. They come in a pack of three. So if you like playing around with stuff like this layering anything like that I really recommend these planner glue pens okay so we're gonna do that there and then I'm gonna stick this piece down And it is a little bit movable whenever you first stick it down, but once it is dry, it is there. It is permanent. So just keep that in mind whenever you use these. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some Distress Inks. I've pulled four just to kind of get that blue going on. Um, I purchased these from Oh my gosh, I think scrapbook.com, you're able to get the little mini individuals, which is what I like. I do have a couple of the packs, but um, I really like purchasing the singles. That way I can get what I want and don't have to pay for, you know, all the extras. So let's see, do I have a clean blending tool? Let me find a blender. Okay, and we're back. All right. Now I'm going to use my favorite blending tool, which are these. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in with the lightest one. So I've got Stormy Sky here, and then I'm going to go darker um, as we go along and kind of get the edges a um, little bit darker just to try to have a really nice color blend here so i'm also going to speed it up some Okay, 
sew the distressing sir down. Um, I really wanted to just kind of have like a nice blue tint to them. That way there wasn't such a stark contrast. Um, I've pulled a couple of pieces of ephemera that I can use, some big stickers, everything like that. I may not use all of these, but I did pull them just in case. Um, not sure wh where this one came from, but I'm really thinking I'm going to use her because I just love her beautiful galaxy hair. Um, so I will probably put this one to the side. Um, it's definitely not a birthday right now. I don't know why I pulled that one. And then I've got these other three. Um, so what I try to do is I always try to have like bigger stickers, like have one really big sticker or a die cut. That way it can be like my focus piece and stuff like that. I like doing that in my journals. So, um, got those laid down. Um, and actually the distress sinks are already fairly dry. So I'm going to start um, putting some washi tape. Actually, scratch that. Let's see. I kind of want to put her right there. I think she'll be really pretty right there. So um, I have been participating in One Book July. Um, for the most part, it's been a challenge. I really miss my old tarot journal. What, baby? Just eat them, darling. Um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I, um, I really miss my old tarot journal, but um, for the most part, I've really had fun. I've been having fun just doing... Um, one book July. It's it's definitely made things a lot more streamlined and easier, but I do like having my tarot journal and my everyday planner kind of separate. Um, that way I can kind of refer back to things easily and quickly, but it's been different. So I can't, I, I really can't complain too much to be honest. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll just stick some of this washi down. Just oh, this washi is just so pretty. I think it's one of the prettiest washies I have in my collection for sure. And then um, I'm gonna add a little bit here. I love how vivid the colors are. Everything is just so, so pretty. I love this washi. Okay. Um, I need to find... Okay. So, I'm going to use this little Monday here. I'm kind of wondering if I want to layer that Monday on this cute little crystal bundle. I think I will. I can get it. Okay. And get that laid down. I know it's going to block off some of that um, bundle there, but I think it'd just be really cute, kind of layered. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then I kind of want to do this floral bundle down here. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Okay. I'm done, Mama. Okay, go put it on the counter. And then, let's see. Um, where do I need to put this? I kind of want to put that there. So I think I will. Okay. 
These little stickers are so thin and I really love them because they don't bulk up your planner, but sometimes they can be a little difficult to peel. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. I think that looks nice. And, oh my gosh, I put the Monday sticker down. Today is not Monday. It is, in fact, Tuesday. Uh, it's gonna pull up some of that color. That's all right, we'll cover it. Okay, so want, want for that. All right, let's get in here and get this Tuesday sticker. Okay, try again. All right, there we go. Okay. So for today, I've also got these really cute little post-its from Ursa Mama um, that I think I'm gonna use. Yes. Okay, so for Wonder of July, let's just talk about that. Let's do some random chatter. Um, for One Book July, the challenge is basically, if you've never heard of it before, it is one book, one pen, one month. And the idea is to simplify everything down to, um, cause I know it, it sometimes gets a little overwhelming. You're, um, you're doing, you know, if you keep multiple planners, you love them, but sometimes it really can get overwhelming. And um, the idea is to simplify it down, go back to basics, all that kind of stuff. And it is a little bit of a challenge, especially if you're used to using multiple planners or journals, whatever you want to use. Um, so the one book part, for sure, got that down pat, but the one pen did kind of throw me for a loop a little bit. Um, oh, I didn't know that that was on there. Okay. Don't mind my child. She's in a very yelly mood today. Um, so the using this blackout book and stickers the way that I do, so you can use one pen, one book, as many washi tapes, ephemera, stickers that you want to, but if you use stickers in this, like I don't have just a ton of really, really dark stickers, so I've had to put a black pen in with this. So I'm almost there, y'all, <laughs> and it has been a challenge, but um, I've really been enjoying it so far. I am so sorry about the screamy kid. Um, She's probably, there's no telling what she's yelling at. Okay. All right. So today we have swim lessons at 530. And I decided to throw a little bit of purple in there too, to kind of tie in with her purple hair. I think I need to get my tweezers. I like my tweezers for sticking things down precisely or as precisely as you can. Okay, so that's going to be at the top of the agenda for today. It's her swim lessons. Unfortunately, I am a little bit out of commission right now. Um, I, <laughs> I was bending down to get a pan or something out of while I was cooking last night and felt this pop and then all of a sudden it was just like blinding pain and I'm just like oh god not again not again because this happened a couple of months back and it was awful it was days of just pain just pure pain um I did have my coffee this morning so I'm going to be using this cute little floral coffee cup from Illustra Z. Um, hmm, where should you go, my little dear? I think we'll just put you out here. There we go. 
All right. Um, anything else we can use? Oh, she would have been really pretty addition too. And who's to say that we can't still use her? I think we shall. Um, I had actually pulled a really pretty sticker that I may layer her on. I pulled this. This was just like a random sticker. Will she go on that? I think she will. I think that'll be really pretty. Why not? So use that to break up some of that space there. And she can kind of use that as a platform. Or do I want to stick her in the middle? Or do I want to stick her more toward the side? Well, she's down, so we'll just, we'll stay with that. Okay. And I also have this really pretty moon I wanted to use too, but I don't want to clutter it up too terribly much. Let's see what else we've got in here. Lots of star seeds. They are definitely one of my favorite shops. There's an idea too. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I wonder if I want to use another one of those little post-its for my tarot card. Just wish I had something that was not quite as square. I need to use these. These are so pretty. But y'all know how I am. I hoard. I hoard so, so bad. Alright. I do need to put my date down. For sure. I know I need to do that. Oh. But I don't know what I'm going to use for that. Because I really don't want to cover up more of that. Maybe we'll just use one of these little circles. It's black and white, but it's okay. There we go. That works. All right. And... Let's see, what else do I need to do today? Um, so I need to pay that. Oop, I think they're, okay, maybe not. She was placed in a good spot. Then I've got some of these little leftovers from uh, Marshmallow Studio. I just kind of want to put those around in different little spots. That's cute. Um, and then, let's see. I wonder what will write on this best. So the white pen does show up. But the black may be better. Okay. So we'll pull one of these little flag things. So like I said, I can't really do much today. Thank you, back. You are wonderful. Oop, it's a little wonky, but that's okay. Don't need perfection. All right, so that is about everything I know that I need to, um, pick up, uh, what is that thing?
it's a pickup document. Yay! I, I, for some reason, really like doing this black to white thing. I think it looks, it, to me, it's very visually appealing. Um, okay. So, ooh, I also need to get vape juice. Okay. I thought I had a little cute little vape pen that I could have used for that, but I guess not. Um, and I'll probably think of some other stuff to do tonight. Um, I know tomorrow um, I've got to remember to take my car to the shop. So I'm just going to make a note of that. Ooh, my handwriting is awful today, y'all. But it is okay. Pull off this little hangage here. Okay, so I've got to remember to do that tomorrow. And then um, our tech came today. Just so I can have it as, a, I guess, a record of it. <laughs> So he did come today, thank goodness. Yay, Wi-Fi. All right, so over here, I'm gonna do my tarot spread for the day. Um, the deck that I've been using and really love is this True Black Tarot deck. It is gorgeous. Look at these illustrations. So you've got this matte black card and then you've got certain little areas that have a UV coating on them that make it just shiny. And then all these beautiful illustrations in yellows and whites and reds and oranges. And oh, these cards are just, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love these cards so, so much. They're just Phenomenal. I knew the first time I saw these, I think I first saw these on Instagram, but I knew right then I was like, I, that is my deck and it definitely has proven so beautiful, uh, black edging on here. They're just absolutely gorgeous. They are a tad bit difficult to shuffle because the, um, thickness of the cardstock is amazing. So they, they do take a little bit to shuffle if you're going to do a bridge shuffle like that. Um, but yes, I have been using this deck for, I don't even know how long, but I've been using it faithfully since I got it. I think I've had it for about a month now, actually. Um, and the pulls that it does for me, I've done a couple of pulls on my brother, um, some, I think I've done maybe one on my boyfriend, but this, these cars just are very, very accurate and beautiful and I love them. So just going to do a quick shuffle. I just shuffle until it feels right, until I feel like it's properly done.
All right, so at this point, I'm probably going to speed it up a little bit because I do tend to take my time with doing my tarot spreads. So I'm gonna speed this process up for y'all and we'll be back when I am finished. Okay, so now we are back. Um, I'm going to, I basically for my tarot journal, I pull a card a day. Um, I get really excited when I pull from the Major Arcana because I really don't pull them very often. More times than not, I'm gonna be pulling um, pinnacles or swords for some reason. Um, I have pulled the lover's card a few times, but um, it doesn't happen very often, and I don't often get um, major arcana cards, so I really do get excited when I see those. Um, I'm going to see if one of these feathers will show up on this paper. I kind of hope it does. Eh, could be better. Could be worse. That's kind of pretty. All right, um, I mostly use this, I have both versions of this Happy Planner um, Free Spirit sticker book and I do use both of them. I use them both um, for doing my tarot journal spreads and I really enjoy it. Um, so let's see, I wonder if I could add a cute little constellation somewhere. They're kind of not facing where I need them to. Oh, we have actually got a moon tonight. I forgot about that. I'm going to have to do something for that as well. Um, so, let's see. I could put one of these my mantra. I, I normally like to do some kind of a gratitude. I like to um, put something that I'm grateful for every day. Um, but I really would like to find a cute quote. Actually, that one's very fitting because we are going to be having a full moon. Um, but I'm going to pull this. So there's really not going to be a whole lot of room for journaling except for, um, I guess I can put some of the moon information on here which I'll have to look that up so um, I really like that little you can I think that'll be my little quote there we go cute let's see what else they have on here I think I may use that little moon thing here. And then I can journal on the bottom. So I, I was looking through and saw that it was going to be a buck moon, but I don't know if everybody calls it that, but I think, I don't know, this moon has a lot of <laughs> names to it. Uh, okay, I think that's really about all that I want to put on here. Should I put that little to-do there? This is going to be a little bit long, I feel like. But normally I do have a to-do somewhere. And that can fill up some space. Okay. I really do love this sticker book. And I like using these little stickers for my uh, four little words to each card. Okay. 
So the bottom here, I'm gonna leave for some journaling. Since we've got swim lessons tonight, I, I don't know. I just, I like to just really talk about my day and stuff like that. And that's something I would normally do in my tarot journal, but um, anyway. So let's see, let's look up the moon for tonight. Let's see, what is it going to be? I'm pretty sure it's the buck moon. Let's see. Yep, full buck moon. Okay, awesome. So I do have a reason to use this lovely little sticker here. So I'm just going to put that in here, but I have a separate um, moon journal that I'm using and I'm not putting all of that in here. So I'll go a little more in depth with that um, whenever I start doing my journaling for the night. So I've still got a little bit of room here for anything that I need to do, but generally this is the plan for today. And like I said, I will be coming back and journaling a little bit, probably just mainly talking about her swimming lessons and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll probably fill in just a few little things here and there. But overall, this is it. Thank you so much for sitting here with me for so long. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you over here. And other than that, I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, everybody.